Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new here, welcome. I am Leonidas Super G and I do Warframe videos. Now this video it comes in the sequence of the video I did before about Necros, where I removed its Terrify because I didn't like how it worked, and I replaced it with Petrify. And this is a great setup if you wanna, you know, get yourself more loot. I'll leave the link down below in the description so you can watch that video too. It also came to my attention that Terrify is really good because it removes enemy armor. Now, I was playing around with this and all this augment that also slows down enemies so I could slow them down and kill them fast enough, but somehow it didn't seem to work very well because it was um, it was just taking consuming a lot of energy spamming that all over again. So, I went into uh, the helmet system to find a good ability and of course I choose Gloom. Gloom from Sephagot is one of the best abilities because not only slows down enemy but it also steals their health and per enemy it steals energy. So I went and replaced Soul Punch on Necros which is really a good ability let's say. I mean it isn't really useful for anything so I removed that one and I installed Gloom and it works really really well. Now I tried to combine this with the augment of Terrify that slows out enemies so they, I could get 100% slowdown on enemies, but I can't. The two abilities of slow do not stack. However, the cap for slow in Gloom is higher than the one in the augment. The augment, uh, creeping Terrify, the cap for slow is 80%, while in Gloom is 95%. But there is a corresponding difficulty in the two because for me to get the the cap to to slow down enemies 95 percent i have to put 272 percent strength which is almost all <laughs> all the mods i have for strength and i don't have anything for anything else while to remove the armor with just terrify it's only 167 percent strength so i play around with the two i remove the um, creeping terrify which is was needed because it wasn't affecting that much and i kept just terrify as is as the cap to remove armor and i use gloom to slow down enemies and continue to steal health and energy and they work together beautifully i mean although slow doesn't stack between the two the energy you get is good for just keeping spamming terrify so you spam terrify you remove the armor from the enemies they are already slowed down they're not you know they're not completely still but they are pretty much just slow down and you can kill them fast and so you just run to them spam terrify kill them run again spam terrify kill them also because you have this um, extra energy on you you can also spam shadows shadows of the dead a lot faster and a, a lot more times because the radius of gloom is actually affected by duration and not by range stretch or range only affect the maximum and minimum range they do not affect the radius itself the radius of its effect by duration so shadows of the dead also benefits from this so it gets more um, time uh, duration also, for Desecrate, this works because you can use either uh, Despoil to use your health because you are also stealing health, or you can just remove it um, and just use Desecrate as is because you have a lot of energy. Now, for the augments of Despoil for Desecrate and Shield of Shadows for Shadow of the Dead, this is completely optional. It depends on how much mod space you have and how much you want to build, you know, between duration and strength and range and all that, but the build works beautifully. I know it's kind of um, you know a no-brainer because Gloom is just one of those abilities from the helmet system that works with everything really, but in this case for Necros I was really tinkering around because I found Petrify and I started tinkering around with it and I found out it works really well and synergizes well with all his other abilities. So I hope this build of Doom and Gloom helps you and if you like the video please like and subscribe comment in down below what you have used in necros or maybe other uses of the helmet system that you've done and i'll see you in another video until then have a great game guys <laughs>